Well, the United States has also reportedly killed two top leaders of the terror group Al-Shabaab, which claimed responsibility for the attack on a Kenya mall. Arise News East African Africa correspondent Tom Walsh joins us by the phone with the latest there. Good day, Tom. Thank you so much for joining us on Arise America. Well, yes, that's right, Debbie. It seems uh, these two senior commanders were killed on Monday evening uh, between the southeastern villages or uh, towns of Jeeb and Barawe. Now, these are uh, known to be Somali, uh, Somali al-Shabaab major bases and strongholds in the country. Now, the U.S. as a policy usually does not comment on uh, drone strikes in Somalia, the Associated Press news agency is quoting a senior United States military official who says that there was a U.S. counterterrorism strike against a terrorist target in Somalia on Monday, but gave no further details. Now, uh, the Reuters news agency is also backing out that up. They have people on the ground, eyewitnesses, who said uh, that they saw a big crash and a drone disappearing far into the sky. Uh, and and uh, the eyewitness said they saw two uh, militants being pulled out of a burning car. Uh, now, of course, this all follows the uh, raid last month by U.S. Special Forces on Barawe, uh, again in southeastern Somalia, to capture uh, some top al-Shabaab officials. But that, uh, that uh, raid was repelled and the U.S. Special Forces had to leave the area. Uh, so it's this continued uh, uh, war on terrorism uh, by the U.S. using modern technology, and really their focus, as we can see here, is on Somalia. Uh, do you have any information, Tom, on, on the number of injuries in addition to these two reported fatalities as it re relates to this airstrike? No, at the moment, the information we're getting is that there was a convoy of cars, and uh, it, it seems that this uh, drone strike hit a Suzuki vehicle. Uh, as I say, the, um, the eyewitnesses saw two bodies being pulled out of a car in the convoy. Uh, as I said, it happened on Monday night. So I'm sure we'll get more details tomorrow about it, but that's the information we have so far. Tom, give us an update on the influence uh, and the authority of al-Shabaab in Somalia. What areas it still clearly has uh, authority in, in and where per perhaps it is increasing in its presence and authority. Can you do that for us? Well, the, the, the problem is, is that um, the African Union has made enormous progress over the years in terms of securing uh, key cities in uh, the in in Somalia, uh, but the problem is is that they say that they have, for example, secured Mogadishu, the capital. But as we've seen earlier this year, there have been major attacks against the city um, and against key areas, UN compounds, areas around the airport, the judiciary system. So to say that uh, certain areas in the country are free of Al Shabaab. Uh, would not be correct. Now, the AU also said that they have taken the key port of Kismayo, uh, which al-Shabaab had used to uh, get goods in and out of the country. But again, there have been attacks around there. So unfortunately, vast swathes of the country, specifically the north and the southeast around there, are still uh, controlled by the al-Shabaab militia. And as we've seen in Kenya, uh, whilst, uh, you know, we think that we can be on top and control this situation, the reality is they can strike any time and with absolute deadly force. In, indeed, and that might explain, the, that might be a part of the explanation for my next question, and that is really until the siege on the Westgate Mall in Nairobi, a lot of Americans had never even heard of al-Shabaab. Their activities are, have been concentrated in Africa, but it seems that the U.S. has stepped up its response to their activities, both by the raid earlier this month and then this airstrike. What can be made of that? Well, absolutely. Uh, the real war on terrorism over the last few years has shifted focus from, let's say, Central Asia uh, and parts of the Middle East now, and it really is now focusing on, uh, on, on Africa, uh, the Horn of Africa and North Africa. Uh, information revealed after the Westgate Mall attacks 
showed that Al Qaeda also had its influence in planning and execution of the Westgate Mall attack. And we know that Al Qaeda also worked closely with Al Shabaab. They also worked closely with Aquim, the uh, terrorist group across North Africa and Mali around there. And they're also linked with Boko Haram in uh, northern Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So this. Uh, the, the issue of al-Shabaab in Somalia, it can no longer be seen just as a regional problem. What's very clear now that this is a global problem. Indeed, indeed. Tom Walsh, our East Africa correspondent, reporting from us from Kenya. Tom, thank you very much. Security officials have reported an explosion near the U.S. Embassy in Yemen. The blast occurred in the capital city of Sana'a. Residents say the first heard, they first heard heavy gunfire near the embassy and then a large explosion. The U.S. evacuated all of its personnel a year ago.